I came across a really nice resource for trees and shrubs and grass, and they're all completely free, and it works really well with the asset browser. So I thought I'd share it with you. So as you might know, trees can be pretty awkward. You can kind of procedurally generate them in the saplings add-on and so forth, but I never find the results of that good. There's lots of nice packs and add-ons that cost money and they do a much better job, but here's a resource that has good quality trees, completely free. Do of course make sure you check the license to see how you can use them, but it's my understanding you can use them as much as you like, just don't sell them on. So what you'll need to do is go along to Google and type in Max Trees. I'll put the link in the description as well, and it's maxtree.org, go into there, They've got lots of resources, obviously paid for, which are really nice. I'm not sponsored by them, they're just great resources. And if you come across to here, there is a free option. There's only one available, but if we click on that, you can see this picture, the beautiful models they've got for free, and you can add it to your cart. The other really great thing about this is that you can choose Blender as the output. So select that, add to cart. You'll need to put your email address in and a few details, but you don't have to put your credit card in or anything like that. Once you've done that, they'll send you an email with the links. You can then download those, and once you've unzipped them, they'll look something like this. If you go into the folder with Blender underscore Cycles EV and click in that, you'll see Blender files with each of them in. So I'll just view these with their icons. They also come with a JPEG of what they look like. That makes them perfect for the asset browser because I can put all these Blender files into my asset browser folder. The only problem is I have to go in and mark each of these trees as assets. There's a few things to be aware of in Blender, so let's show you what that looks like. So I'm in Blender and I've set up an HDRI in the background so it will light my tree. This is within Eevee, and it's important to note that if you are working in Eevee, you do have to set the transparency yourself. So in my scene collection, I've got my sort of bushy tree here, and I can open up the mesh to get to the materials. And if I click on one of those materials, you'll need to press N to get this side panel up here and go to Options. In the options, you've got the blend modes here, Alpha Clipped is the cheapest, so in terms of rendering speed, it should be the fastest. Alpha Hashed, I believe, is the most expensive. So it will take that bit longer, especially if you've got lots of trees. I've done a bit of experimenting on this one, and I've set each of them to Alpha Clipped, and it works really nicely. In Cycles, you don't have to worry about that. If I switch across to Cycles, and I'll just click away so you can see the quality, it looks really nice. And to make these an asset in your asset browser, we can come up to the object itself, right click, Mark as Asset. However, you must make sure that this file is within your asset browser folder. See my other video about asset browsers to understand that fully. Link in the description. So if I change this across the asset browser, I can then start dragging and dropping my trees into my scene. It's worth noting that they're high poly and they've got lots of transparent textures, so it can take a while to render and it can slow down your viewport a fair bit. So this really is for those who have a powerful machine and particularly good for people who do architectural modeling and things like that. It's definitely not suitable for games though. So a lovely resource, thanks to Max Trees for offering those for free. So thanks for watching and I hope that helps.